knows us better than we know ourselves. Applying for jobs on some levels has given me some anxiety because I'm unfamiliar with Austin still and there's one there's a couple things about Texas the drivers are nuts the freeways are crazy and the city is a little scary for me um and truthfully this is part of staying inside of a comfort zone on some levels I know I need to push through that but on other levels I know that it's still scary <laughs> so I'm sitting here in the parking lot for this job interview that I have and I'll tell you it's been crickets for like three weeks and this week I got this email and I'm I'm kind of cracking up because it's so close to my house and it's all back roads and I'm just thinking if this is the job that I that I get it would be all the Lord because these are never things that I've really prayed about they're just things that I've mulled over in my head and it would be just like the Lord to check all the boxes um and and I'm really not truly trying to be picky with jobs I'm just trying to get really just anything that would be a good fit so I'm just you know just trying to be do my due diligence in it all so side note I have this guy that's just staring at me right now and it's really quite awkward because <laughs> I'm in here just talking to myself really so um it feels like I'm just talking to myself um so I don't know we'll see how this goes I am hopeful and I'm prayerful and the Lord will provide when the timing is right especially in this journey he's provided every step of the way and I know that he will thus far you know having the faith to rely on something unseen is it's not easy and I see why the Lord or why the Bible talks about having the faith faith the size of a mustard seed is so huge because it really does doesn't take a lot but at the same time um, there's there's a mental hurdle that you have to get through to be able to fully put your entire trust and surrender to him and his leading and it's a lesson that I've had to learn over and over in my life and it's probably one that I will never arrive at but I'll tell you there is nothing more fulfilling and more exciting than watching him work in your life and so whether I get this job or not I'm excited for what the future holds because I know that he's going to provide down an uphill battle, wait for it King in the dream again Jumped out of bed with life this morning Looked in a mirror and crawled right back in Only time will tell Only time will tell Only time will tell I saw this uh, video um, title on YouTube this morning and it said starting over at 30 and I thought that is pretty much the same thing that we have done except it's starting over at 40. It's such a crazy thing because essentially we are starting over and in my last video I talked about doing the hard things and how doing the hard things opens up doors and opportunities and new experiences in life that you might not otherwise have. And then to kind of really tie all that in when we went to church on Sunday, the message was all about um, 
uncommon versus common and how we serve a God that is very uncommon and asks us to live an uncommon life. And that requires stepping out and doing the hard things. And I just feel like the whole theme of this season for us has been exactly that, starting over at 40, stepping out and doing new things and living a very uncommon life. Putting your faith in that and in the Lord and watching him work is so humbling, but it also just stretches you and grows you in ways that you would never ever imagine. And to say that I'm confident that the Lord will provide is an understatement because I'm so confident that he will open the doors that need to be open, but also shut the doors that need to be shut. When logic and reason defy what you feel the Lord is telling you to do, it's, it's very much a battle. And so spending that time with the Lord and prayer and being in tune with him is so crucial when you're embarking on something that you're unsure about. And for me in this season has been job hunting. And I'll tell you, it's been so hard because I do, I do think that there is, he controls everything. And so I do think that there's a lot of jobs that the doors have been shut on purpose and by design. Well, all of them, all of them have been, you know, those doors have been shut by design. I say most of them, but really it's all of them. And I have to have faith that in the right time, the right job will present itself. And, and again, it's another battle that I have to overcome in my own brain because when you're out there putting yourself out there and submitting resumes and doing all of the things that you think is right, and even if you're not, you're relearning and regame planning and you're getting rejection after rejection after rejection, it starts to hit you. And it's really hard. I've never had a time in my life where I've had such a rough time looking for a job. It's always been quite easy. And I do think that part of it is because of the economy. One thing that I have seen on LinkedIn and, um, just kind of the consensus Facebook forums is that everybody's in the same boat. The people that are looking are having a very hard time looking for jobs. And, you know, it does kind of play a role with politically and what's going on in our world today. So I, I get that. And, um, you know, we're also battling AI. Um, you could have a stellar resume. And one thing that I've found with my resume is if I'm not matching one for one, on job descriptions, I'll get a job rejection within 30 seconds of submitting my resume. Um, so breaking past AI is a whole nother beast. And, you know, the, uh, the hard lesson for me, especially being 40, is realizing that the days of walking in with your resume and talking to someone face to face, um, those days are over. It's all digital which, you know, can be good, but it's also can be bad. It, it takes away that human element of, of job searching. And I even, I even went to jobs and walked in and asked, you know, if I could talk to a manager. And as soon as I'd asked them if they were hiring, they would go, oh, just go to the website. Like they don't even want to entertain it. Um, and so I just thought that was very interesting because these are, just the things that a lot of people are up against. And so, you know, going back to trusting the Lord and that things will work out the way that they're supposed to is that even though I'm getting all of these rejections and <laughs> shut doors, I have to trust that when the timing is right, something will open up for me. And, and in the meantime, really having to keep that at the forefront of my mind because I'll tell you, you know, in the beginning when I was job searching, it, 
I was positive. I was like, it's okay. You know, I got a job rejection. I'll keep going. But when you get your 15th rejection, 20 rejection, 20th rejection email, you know, and then you get up to 30th, after a while you start to go, what's wrong with me? Maybe I don't have the skills that I thought I had. Maybe I'm not worth it. Maybe I, I mean, and, and the negativity just beats you down. It just gets into your brain and it just seeps into your thinking and your thought process and it's not a good thing to do. And so uh, I have found that really just pressing into the Lord in those times is where you will find encouragement you will find yourself refreshed and able to continue to tackle the mountain of life, <laughs> looking for jobs, whatever that you might be facing. It doesn't have to be jobs. Um, I, I mean, really it goes into the theme, the theme of my last video of if you're doing something new, when you've got the Lord to, to really plug in and go to the well and drink from the well, you can do anything and you can face whatever mountain that you're facing. And I just think that that is the key and the answer to all of this is to keep pursuing, to keep pressing, to keep trying new things, keep stepping out in faith. And with the Lord on your side, you can do it. And you're facing a mountain, whatever that might be, my encouragement to you would be to plug into the Lord press into him, drink from the fountain of life because he will refresh you. He will sustain you. He will give you what you need to keep going, even in those dark moments. And, you know, I'll tell you that it is life giving when you do that. I have found my life whenever I press into him. And so if there's anything that you can take away from this video is that where you will find life is in Christ. So that is all for today. Thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video.